everyone welcome back to the channel just wanted to touch on some of the stuff that's been announced from trick or treat studios for 2024 mostly i want to talk about the rob zombie michael myers figure that's down there but we'll come back to that one at the end of the video where we can spend some time on it also the video is dedicated to my buddy mark in dublin who's not very well at the moment if you're watching mark just rest up get well and i hope you enjoy the video so yeah we'll come back to this figure soon i'm going to zoom in and we'll have a look at the details very very promising i love the look of the head sculpt and the cover also look really good right we got this brandon lee the crow figure or statue uh, possibly from the screen greats line i'm not sure but the sculpt looks really good i love the way the coat looks and it's a cool pose and i love the film the crow it's an absolute classic if you haven't seen it check it out highly recommended from me one of the best soundtracks ever made and we have a new Freddy Krueger mask, which I don't really like the look of, to be honest. Um, there's another picture coming up. Some of the pictures I grabbed from Mad About Horror's Instagram page. So a shout out to them for pumping out some great pictures for us to check out these previews. But yeah, yeah, just not really keen on the way that looks. But it's nice to have another option for Freddy. I wonder how big it will be. Um, I do have a part four Freddy mask by Tots. And been meaning to do something with it but I haven't got around to it yet but we also have some Ghostbusters masks which look good I like the slime one Stay Puft Marshmallow Man looks good and I believe that's the ghost from the beginning of the film in the library possibly I don't know if you can wear the logo as a mask or if that's just there as something else you can collect if that was an actual mask that'd be funny uh, we got some new Terrifier 2 masks coming and a Pale Girl outfit and Two crow masks, which look really good. Both of them, very, very cool. Uh, the Brandon Lee one looks very, very good. I'd be curious to see how it really turns out. I mean, the pictures from Mad About Horror when they were actually at the event look very promising. But yeah, two different Art the Clown masks on the way. I still love the original sculpt of the art mask that Tots did. But this looks good too. Nice to have options. Yeah, I mean, if the crow mask turns out looking this good, then that is really something. Uh, the quality of the hair, hopefully, that is what we actually get when the mask is released. It looks really good, though. That is a very good likeness, and I'm not sure if it's something I'd want, but, you know, it's nice that they're making it. Also doing the graphic novel version to the side of it there as well, the original, the OG. So, very nice. Looks really good paint on there, though. I love the white and the black, the way it looks. It all comes together really well. Uh, Lost Boys masks, very cool, and yeah, there's just some really good stuff coming out from Tots this year, man. Watch out! There's, I mean, I can't wait to talk about this Rob Zombie Myers figure coming up in a little while, but yeah, this is really nice for the Lost Boys fans, of which I am one. I've got the Sideshow One Six David figure pre-ordered, so hopefully, should be getting my hands on that once it's released. Beetlejuice, yeah. The face looks good, the paint looks good. Um, I think the hair just needs a little bit of a touch up, whatever, but yeah, looks like a good Beetlejuice mask. Very good quality, good likeness. Lots of people are going to be happy with that. And then we just have it's a bit of a blurry picture, folks, because I just had to kind of take screenshots, but you can get Guar, the band, in, down in the bottom left there. So that's really cool, the whole band, it looks like. Uh, Goosebumps, uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, classic. You got some cool figures from that. So horror fans are in for some really good stuff. You got Ghost Trick or Treat, which has already come out. The 78 Myers, which has already come out. There's the Loomis figure that I want to get my hands on. And I might even get the Ghost figure because I, I do like early Ghost. I really love the first sort of three albums. And um, oh, here we go. Okay, we're going to get stuck in now. So the only thing I'm concerned about, which I've said before, is the height of the figure. Because the past Trick or Treat Studios Myers figures, although they're bloody excellent uh, across the board for the most part, they're not really accurate when it comes to the height of each Myers. Um, but I do love the way this mask looks and the hair sculpt. I do tend to prefer sculpted hair when it's done well on the Myers heads because you don't have to keep messing around with the real hair, trying to get the horns that, you know, and the style just right because the hair makes or breaks it. If you get you know the style of the hair even slightly wrong it just ruins it but that mask looks excellent that really does and the coveralls i'm assuming by tanita again look excellent 
and it's going to be fun weathering them up and adding blood stains and all the grime and gore and proportions it's hard to tell but generally it looks good here but I do have my worries that the figure won't be anywhere near as tall as it should be compared to other Myers figures around it from the company but time will tell it could be a whole new body and uh, I want to get a look at the boots and the the bottom of the coveralls coming up in a sec now but the hands look pretty good there as well look nice and big and Tyler Mayne type hands the actor who played Myers in the two Rob Zombie movies yeah, collar looks nice pockets yep it's all oh here we go here we go boot action yeah it looks good and I like the way the coveralls look at the bottom there where they meet the boot it looks very realistic very accurate so it would have been cool underneath where it says Halloween 2007 one six figure if it actually said something like 13 inch or 13 inches tall or 13 and a half inches tall something like that just to let us know that it was a big one so I think if you're going to make something that looks this good, go that extra mile and make sure he's tall enough um, for that representation of Myers. But he could be. I doubt it, but we'll see. Time will tell. But that looks like a really, really, really cool piece. And that's definitely something I'll be getting and reviewing for you nice and early. Thanks for watching. Drop a like on it. See you soon. Take it easy. Bye-bye.